You know him, didn't you? Then you had that one little feeling. But you waved it away. You should have listened to that one little feeling. Just like I'm listening to you now. You can talk to me. I'm all a friend you got. You're not exactly a department favorite. Things probably changed a lot since you left. You still got to catch him, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that much has changed then, right? <laughs> I can assure you all we are taking a 24-7 all-hands-on-deck approach to these cases. The guy's a shark. If he stops, he dies. He likes to drive. Probably has a decent car, maybe two. High mileage. He must really like my car. I do. How's the truck space? Something I gotta know. How's a guy with the best clearance rate in the department work 15 years without a promotion? Maybe I didn't go to the right church. When I look in your eyes, what I see, it ain't good. He knew all the details, but he wasn't within 10 miles of the killing. Why is that? Why is that? How's the trunk space? What do you want? I want to nail the bastard. For who? For all of the girls he killed. I want to nail the bastard too. The difference is, I'm doing it for me. It's the little things, Jimmy. It's the little things that rip you apart. It's the little things that get you caught.